Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and I just got back from the new film, J. Edgar. It's more like a uh, TV movie. A badly plotted TV movie that knew they had to get in all the important parts of his life. This movie, I think, actually may be worse than those, because I didn't find it fun and salacious. I just found it draining, and it would just go on forever. This film's about 2 hours and 17 minutes. Honestly, it felt like three and a half, and it felt like an incredibly long, arduous three and a half. It just kept going and going, and then it had the worst structure ever, which was J. Edgar Hoover, when he's older, is telling someone what happened in the past, which they have absolutely no fun with, having him as the storyteller. The color correction in this movie is so ugly. Like, what is the point of having just this horribly ugly color correction? That's why everything looks like dark and crummy. And they would talk about things, some things, and not show them, and then talk about other things, and then they would show them. And it was just like, I, I absolutely hate, and I think it's terrible filmmaking, if you're talking about any subject and you think, oh, well, the audience knows about that already, so I need to inform them. I think this is the worst example of Clint Eastwood's directing probably ever. There was no theme, there was no point. What was the point of doing J. Edgar Hoover? Like, if you're gonna do a biopic, say something with it. Leonardo DiCaprio, this is probably his worst performance since The Beach, I'd have to say. Um, all the makeup on everyone looked horrible, especially Army Hammer's makeup, I think is the worst makeup job I've seen in a long time. I mean, it didn't look unprofessional. It looked like it took a long time to do it, but it just did not look realistic. I did not look like an old man at all. Leonardo DiCaprio's makeup didn't look particularly that great either. Naomi Watts, I actually thought she was all right. Um, especially her older, her, her old lady makeup worked a lot better. Roger Ebert, who's a critic, you know, I agree and disagree with, once said that a movie's not what it's about, it's how it is about it. And how this movie is about J. Edgar Hoover is terrible. It just, you know, obviously Clint Eastwood has a lot of respect for Hoover. They would kind of present talk about J. Edgar Hoover's racism, but they wouldn't really get into it, because this movie never really got into anything. He wears a dress at one point for a little bit, there's just one kiss, it's like, oh, we play it, we're not sure if we're playing this, if he's gay or not. This movie can't decide how they want to go about doing J. Edgar Hoover, and it doesn't make up its mind, and that's the problem. You need to pick a perspective, you need to pick a viewpoint when you're doing a film. So if you have unfortunately seen J. Edgar and you would like to talk about it, then comment below in the comments and uh, subscribe if you would like to. I always end up seeing some stuff that I really just dislike and hate and I, I kind of almost feel shitty for wasting the money to have seen it, you know, where I could have used it for something probably more worthwhile.